am the Lord, your healer. Yes. We all through, simply through our life for anything and everything. And we get stuck up with all kinds of poison. But the cross has the solution for all of us. We look unto him and we call upon him and we take his blood, his mercy, his compassion for us and we pray, Lord, make me compassionate like you. Make me a person of forgiveness like you. Make me a person of goodness like you. To see everyone like you, Lord, give me your eyes. Give me your sight, Lord. I don't know how many days I am going to live on this earth. So many people are hurting me. I am not here to once again curse them or make their life still most words, words are miserable. No. I am your child. I am your gift. I have come to give your life. Whether they are hurting me or anything, I don't bother. I am yours. I want to be yours. Please bless them. Please heal them. Please heal them. Please forgive them. Please bless them. When you look at the cross, your attitude changes. Your outlook changes. Your language changes. You join with your Savior and you continue to save the people who have hurt you, who have blamed you, who have destroyed you. To everyone you become source of salvation. You begin to pray for them. Yes. When you look at the blood of Jesus, you understand. This is the blood. As First John chapter 1 verse 7 says, the blood of Jesus has the power to forgive your sins. Even if you are a worst sinner, you have a savior. You are not an orphan. You are not thrown away because you are a worst sinner. You have gone to prostitutes. You have done murdering. So I am going to throw you away. No. The blood of Jesus is my hope. The blood of Jesus says, Return to me. Let me forgive you and make you once again my child. Once again you can get back into life. You can get back into your root. You can get back to your branches. When everyone left Job, Job said, I know my Redeemer lives. My wife left me, my children gone, my property gone. I am getting old now. But one thing I am sure, my Redeemer lives. And God, God honored his faith and gave back double portion. And now that old lady is slowly coming back. When she heard her husband got back everything, he might have said, when I was struggling, you went away. Huh? Curse your God, you and your God, get lost. You went away, now why did you come? I will find some another young lady. He never said. The Bible says, he took back his wife and loved her. And God gave them the beautiful children. And the Bible says, in that old age, the daughters whom they had were the most beautiful in the world. And never in history people will be born like them. When we join with the work of salvation of God, we bring forth God's goodness, God's life, 
God's beauty into this broken world. You need not be have riches to be kind and good. You need the cross to look upon. That's why in 1 Corinthians 1 18 it is written, The cross is foolishness for others. But for us it is the power. It is the salvation. That's why it is written in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. It is this blood that will fight for me. This blood not only forgives me, it will fight for me. That's what we read in the book of Exodus. The people of Israel took the blood of the lamb and put it on their doorpost. And when the spirit of death came, it could not enter into the house of Israelites because the blood of the lamb fought against those forces of death. So the force of death ran away. Blood protected them. Blood fought for them. Today much more the blood of the Savior. You are never left all alone. Believe and your belief will save you. And that belief is the blood of the Lamb. And the confession you do with your mouth will fight for you. Will bring you back to life. And we read in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. The blood will intercede for you and me. We look at the blood of the Lamb, the cross, and we commit our lives and we go to sleep. But God never sleeps. The blood of the Lamb continued to pray for you, intercede for you. My son is sleeping, but he has to get up and go for the work. My father provided him all that is needed. My daughter has to do this work. She has to meet this kind of people. Please provide my daughter. The blood of the lamb will intercede for you. God has never left this world with nothing. His blood is upon you. Close your eyes. Look at the cross. God of salvation has come to give life to all of us. And this blood of the Lamb is the gift of salvation for you. The same God who brought back Adam and Eve and so many people like Hagar today through his son Jesus his blood on the cross he brings back every human being who are fallen in sin who have destroyed their life who have become miserable he says in Isaiah 54 verse 11 have you messed up your life due to various reasons return back to me I will clean up the mess that you made and I will rebuild you Thank you and praise you Lord You are God of living You are God Who has come that I may have life Life in all its fullness But in the world Being as a man, a woman Due to various reasons and situations We have lost my life We have lost our way we have lost our energy and strength. And the Bible says that you don't want even a single child to perish. So you could not stay in heaven. You came down as a man. You taught us how to forgive, how to love, 
how to live in this broken sinful world and at the end you gave your precious blood for us the blood that forgives us the blood that protects us the blood that intercedes for us and i am surrounded with that blood sweet oh what a great person i am yes jesus oh what a blessed and privileged child of god i am my past may be miserable one but in you jesus i have a new beginning in you i have new strength to move on i have new life to live on thank you lord my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord